Imagine your body as a fortress under siege, where every attempt to lose weight triggers ancient defenses you never knew existed. What feels like failure on the bathroom scale is actually a sophisticated biological rebellion happening deep within your cells. Your body isn't betraying you, it's protecting you from what it may perceive as a threat to survival. Most people believe weight loss should follow a simple equation. Eat less, move more, watch the numbers drop. But inside your body, a different story unfolds. Silent laboratories work around the clock, adjusting hormones, slowing metabolism, and sending potentially stronger hunger signals to your brain. These microscopic engineers have one primary directive, maintain the status quo, no matter how desperately you want change. When you begin restricting calories your body doesn't celebrate, it may panic. Within hours, leptin levels can start shifting. Leptin, often called the satiety hormone, acts like your body's fuel gauge, telling your brain when you have enough energy stored. As you lose weight, leptin production may drop significantly, but not in a helpful way. Your brain can interpret this decline as starvation approaching, even when you're still carrying excess weight. Meanwhile, ghrelin, the hunger hormone, begins its own quiet rebellion. Ghrelin levels can surge higher than before you started dieting, creating cravings that feel almost impossible to ignore. This isn't weakness. This is biochemistry that may be designed to keep you alive during periods of scarcity. Your ancestors survived famines because of these exact mechanisms. Your body doesn't understand that food is abundant in your kitchen. It only knows that energy intake has decreased and it must respond. But here's the part most people never hear. Your metabolism doesn't just slow down slightly. It undergoes what researchers call metabolic adaptation, a profound shift that may reduce your daily energy expenditure by hundreds of calories. Studies following participants from the reality show The Biggest Loser revealed something startling. Six years after their dramatic weight loss, contestants had regained most of their weight, and their metabolisms remained significantly slower than before they started. Their bodies had essentially reset to defend against future weight loss attempts. This metabolic adaptation isn't always temporary. Research suggests it can persist for years, creating what feels like an impossible situation. You're eating the same calories that once helped you lose weight, but now your body burns them so efficiently that progress stops completely. Your cellular machinery may become miserly with energy, conserving every possible calorie for what it believes might be the next famine. Your thyroid joins this internal coalition, potentially reducing production of hormones that regulate metabolism. Your nervous system shifts into conservation mode, making you feel tired and reducing spontaneous movement. Even your muscle cells become more efficient, requiring less energy to perform the same tasks. Every system in your body aligns to resist further weight loss. What happens next surprises even researchers. Around the three to six month mark, something remarkable may begin to shift. Your body starts what scientists call the adaptation phase. This isn't surrender, it's recalibration. During this critical period, your metabolism may begin to stabilize at its new set point. Hormone levels can start finding their balance. The constant biological alarm bells that have been ringing since you started losing weight finally begin to quiet. But the real change may begin at 72 hours into this adaptation phase. Your leptin receptors, which have been resistant to the hormones signals, may start becoming more sensitive again. This means the leptin your body does produce can begin working more effectively to signal fullness. Ghrelin levels, while still elevated, may start to moderate slightly. The intense, overwhelming hunger that has been your constant companion begins to ease, not disappear, but become more manageable. Your brain chemistry shifts during this phase in subtle but profound ways. Dopamine pathways that have been dysregulated by chronic dieting stress may begin to normalize. The reward systems that made food seem irresistibly appealing start to recalibrate. You might notice that you can think about food without obsessing. You can walk past your trigger foods without feeling consumed by cravings. Yet what your cells do next is even more unexpected. They begin a process of metabolic flexibility, slowly remembering how to efficiently switch between burning different types of fuel. Your mitochondria, the powerhouses of your cells, may start to recover from the stress of prolonged caloric restriction. They become more efficient at producing energy, which means you may start feeling less fatigued and more capable of normal daily activities. 
This is where the story inside your body quietly shifts from defense to acceptance. Your thyroid function may begin to normalize, producing more of the hormones that support healthy metabolism. Your nervous system may relax its death grip on energy conservation. Spontaneous movement increases. You might find yourself fidgeting more, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, or simply feeling more inclined to move throughout the day. The timeline of this internal transformation varies dramatically between individuals. Some people experience this shift within weeks, while others may need months or even years for their bodies to fully adapt to their new weight. The key factor isn't willpower or perfect adherence to a diet plan, it's patience with a biological process that operates on its own schedule. What unfolds after the seventh day of this adaptation phase may change everything internally. Your body may stop treating weight maintenance as a crisis and start accepting it as the new normal. The constant stress hormones that have been flooding your system can begin to subside. Cortisol levels may normalize, which can allow better sleep, clearer thinking, and more stable moods. The next phase reveals something your body almost never shows openly. It begins to trust again. This moment of trust marks a profound turning point in your internal landscape. Your body, which has been operating in crisis mode for months, may begin to recognize that this new weight isn't a temporary state requiring constant vigilance. The cellular memory that has been screaming danger finally starts to whisper acceptance instead. Within your fat cells, something remarkable happens. Adipose tissue, which has been stubbornly holding on to every stored calorie, may begin to soften its grip. The inflammatory signals that fat cells release when they feel threatened may start to quiet down. This reduction in chronic inflammation can affect every system in your body. Your blood vessels may relax slightly, your immune system may stop being hypervigilant. Even your skin may begin to look clearer as systemic inflammation decreases. But here's what researchers find most fascinating about this phase. Your brain's reward pathways, which have been dysregulated by months of dietary restriction, may start to recalibrate in ways that feel almost magical. The prefrontal cortex, responsible for decision-making and impulse control, may begin to regain its strength. Food decisions that once required enormous willpower start feeling more automatic, more natural. Your sleep architecture transforms during this period in ways that support everything else happening inside you. Deep sleep phases may become more consistent, allowing growth hormone to help support repair work throughout your body. REM sleep may improve, helping to process the emotional stress that has accumulated during your weight loss journey. Better sleep means better hormone regulation which creates a positive cycle that reinforces your body's acceptance of its new state. Your weight loss journey isn't about conquering your body. It's about understanding the quiet conversation happening beneath your skin. The resistance you feel isn't failure. It's biology attempting to protect what it believes matters most. When you honor this process, when you give your cells time to trust again, transformation becomes not a battle but a gentle unfolding. If learning how your body and brain quietly respond to everyday choices brings you clarity, consider subscribing to Vivilabs for more calm, science-based explanations. Vivilabs, where your body tells its quiet stories.